Marina, big endorsement today for the casino plan you will vote on in November. The state's police union announced its support for the plan with its own campaign called Cops for Casinos. Our John Fortney joins us with more on this really surprise announcement, John. Yeah, it is a big surprise to groups like the Ohio Council of Churches that's opposed to expanding gambling anyway. Today, the FOP, though, is joined by the Capital City Lodge Number no. 9 to explain why it's supporting the Jobs and Growth Campaign. The FOP used the example of Richland County Sheriff's Department laying off 10 deputies because of budget cuts there. The FOP believes the estimated $322 million in taxes that will be shared by all 88 counties will help retain law enforcement officers and give local government budgets a break. With the casino tax revenue, when it begins to come in, Richland County will receive more than $3.6 million of new money a year. And that kind of story will re be repeated all around the state. Clearly, the studies have shown in the past that crime increases when you bring a casino into an urban area. Tonight at 6, much more on the issue of crime and casinos and how the FOP is characterizing the risk right here in Columbus. Jerry? Thanks, John. The Ohio casino issue that would put casinos in the state's four largest cities just got more support. Today, the Fraternal Order of Police of Ohio announced it would endorse the November ballot issue. The FOP says it created the new coalition Cops for Casinos because the state needs the revenue to help prevent police layoffs. Treasurer Mark Drum says the casino issue would provide $13 million a year for law enforcement training. Of a plan to build four casinos in Ohio picked up a new ally today. The Fraternal Order of Police in Ohio is now endorsing the issue, and they're forming a new coalition called Cops for Casinos to actively campaign for the plan. The FOP says the casinos would mean more jobs for Ohio. Voters will cast their ballots on the plan in November.